Section 1.6 is titled Relations and Functions. Uh, for the most part, this lesson is going to be one in which we're going to go over a lot of vocabulary uh, and terminology. Um, most important probably we're going to go over is domain and range. I want to be able to identify domain and range of relations and functions. And then we'll talk about a couple of ways to determine whether a relation is a function. So starting with some vocabulary. A relation is simply any set, say a ordered pair points. Ordered pair points being like x comma y points. Now the domain of a relation, domain are the x values range are the y values. Okay, so domain and range x and y values respectively. Oftentimes you'll be shown a relation or even a function for that matter with a mapping diagram. A mapping diagram just simply matches x and y's together, uh, or domain and range values together. So for example, you might have um, x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3. So we've got three x numbers, three y numbers. The mapping diagram is just going to tell us maybe that this x goes to this y, this x to this y, this x to this y. It's just telling us that like x1 comma y1, that's an ordered pair point. This is an ordered pair, this is an ordered pair point. Okay, so it's just matching which x's go to which y's, which domains go to which range values. Okay, so we know what a relation is. A relation just very simply is a set of points. Okay, a function is a relation. So again, it's a set of points. Okay, it starts with that. It's a relation in which oops, each, we'll just use x and y. Well, I'll use domain and range. A relation in which each value of the domain maps to only one value of the range. Okay? In other words, each x can have only one y. That's it. Okay? Um, so I'm showing you two mapping diagrams down here. And the question is, which one of these is a function. Okay. Um, this one is not a function. It's not a function because of right here. Okay. The definition says that every x or every domain can only have one range value. And this four has two range values. Okay, because of that it makes it not a function. This one over here is a function. Okay. Sometimes it's confusing because of this bit right up here. Students seem to think that because these two point to the same y value that it's not a function. But it is. Because every one of these over here can only go to one of these. Okay, it doesn't matter that these two go to the same one. What matters is that these two numbers, the 3 and the 7, only go to one number themselves. It doesn't matter that it's the same number. Okay? So mapping diagrams are ways that we can see which x's match to which y's, and we can therefore see if we have a function or not. Now, sometimes it's a good way for us to tell if we have a function or not. Like here we only had a few numbers to deal with. But if we had a whole lot of numbers, it may not be the best 
way to go about determining if a relation is a function. So let's show another way that we can do that. Okay, you might have heard of this before, the vertical line test. A vertical line test is simply a test for functions. It's a test used to determine it, if what you're looking at is a function. So let me draw two things on the graph below, on the graphs below. Uh, on this one, let's draw something like this. On this one, how about I draw like that, okay? One of these is a function, one of them is not a function, okay? This one over here, not a function, okay? It's not a function because it fails the vertical line test. Vertical line test tells us that if I put a vertical line anywhere on this graph, if it hits the graph more than once, then it doesn't pass. Okay? If I take this vertical line and move it left and right, it's going to hit the graph twice in multiple spots, so it doesn't pass the vertical line test. This one over here is a function. It's because if I take a vertical line here, it only hits the graph one time. And if I take that vertical line, if I could physically move it left and right, you see that never do I hit my graph that I drew more than once. Therefore, this passes the vertical line test. This is a function. Okay? Every x has only one y over here versus over here, this x had a y up there, had a y down here. So I'm looking at a single x value that has two different y values. Makes it not a function.